right. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Blurred Caliber podcast. Uh, we've got a lot of news to run through today. We've got a lot of entertainment news and a lot, we got a lot of gaming news that we're going to be covering today. So first, let's jump into a news story that's just a little bit close to my heart. In the fact that Velma, in some way, shape, or form, got a season two. Now, I did a review for season one of Velma when it came out, and it was atrocious. The season was absolutely horrible. It's basically raunchy, Minda Kaling humor that, for the most part, doesn't really land or fit in the story that she's attempting to tell with the over-sexualization uh, of, su- of certain characters and then the underutilization of other characters. It is a horrible, horrible Scooby-Doo adaptation. And I'm talking about them all. Uh, as somebody who is a fan of Scooby-Doo, who watched A Pup Named Scooby-Doo, uh, um, um, the original Scooby-Doo, um, uh, Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Machine, like all of the different cartoon variant shows that we have gotten over the years in some way shape or form i have sat down and i have watched these shows i thought i was going to go into velma and it was basically going to focus on our resident favorite nerd how she came to be who she is how she basically came to be a part of 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 the mystery machine team it wasn't that at all uh i believe that this is a vanity project and in what I mean when I say by I believe this is a vanity project, Mindy Kaling is the type of person that, in my opinion, is living off of the fame of the one character that she played that blew up and became famous. And of course, this is a character she played on The Office. And to be quite honest, her character on The Office wasn't even that great. I hated her character and I hated Ryan's character. And anytime either of those characters were on screen, I was annoyed to no end. Every other character in the show is is way, way better than her character in particular. But she was a part of this really, really big and really, really popular series. And then she used that popularity to springboard herself into other projects and make a name for herself. The problem is, I feel as though the best character she's ever done was the first character that uh, she essentially created. Now, she had a show that was basically about herself, which I think was the Mindy Project. Uh, I think was, was the, I think the Mindy Project might have been the one where it told her story, but then also told the story of um, her growing up in her household when she was younger. Whoever the young actress is that plays in that role, fantastic. Mindy Catholic Seeds in particular, eh, whatever. Um, the idea that this series essentially got a season two is, is crazy to me, especially with all of the things that were essentially canceled by, uh, HBO and, um, Warner Brothers Discovery. We, we had the cancellation of, not even the cancellation, we had the paring down for the funds in regards to Superman and Lois where they slashed the budget in half. Uh, the cancellation of Stargirl, which in my opinion was probably their second best show that they had essentially created um the paring down and the rushed closure of the flash the paring down on the rushed closure of supergirl the paring down on the rushed closure of black lightning uh the only one that actually got a serious ending in my opinion was arrow that didn't feel rushed in any way shape or form it just ended the way in which it was supposed to end because this character started the journey and this is how this character's journey essentially comes to to to, to be uh, the cancellation of Raised by Wolves, which in my opinion was one of the most interesting and crazy out there uh, sci-fi psychedelic journeys that I've been on in the fa- in the past few years. Warner Brothers and HBO have been canceling things just left and right. Left, right, center. So the idea that Velma was able to somehow squeak by a season two must mean that it, it, its costs must be damn near nothing. Where they were just like, yeah, we can throw some dollars towards this. That's not, we're, we're not really tripping about this. We, 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 we can throw some, we can throw some funds this way, um, um, because you know it's it, it's 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 not on the same on the same level as a major production, you know. So you know, go ahead and throw Minnie Cannon a little bit of funds. I'll go over there and have her fun. Please stop. 
do not give this show a season three. I have no idea who's watching this show. When I sit down and I talk to people that are watching current TV, I'm hearing I'm hearing uh, Fallout. I'm hearing the Mayf- Mayfair Witches, uh, the one with Alexander Daddario. Uh, there's a bunch of properties that are currently on Netflix that people are watching, and there's a bunch of stuff on Hulu people are watching. Nobody is sitting down like, God damn, man. <laughs> God damn. I can't wait until season three of Velma drops so we can finally figure out who it is that's impostering somebody in the mystery machine. No, no, stop, stop. 